Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the, about the in Node.js how we are going to add the data into the Firestore fire database. So this is the Firestore that we have created, okay? And you can see that I have created my Firestore fire and uh, you can see that this is my module. This is my full module. You can see that we have controllers, models and routes and we have index.js, okay? So first of all, let me show you how we are going to create the data and show into database. So I'm going to drop all this field. So let's delete this one. Delete document. And this also I'm going to delete this document. Okay. So document is deleted. Users is empty. Now I'm going to hit the API of the post. So where I'm sending the email, mobile and the name. Here you can see that in the users let me add the document okay the data is now auto generated that should be the name email mobile if yes i have added the document which is empty currently okay so let's what the gonna be like added over here let's hit the api email mobile and the name send this record it successfully let's check is it there or not where it is you can see that the new record is inserted test you can also add the new more so here i'm going to add rajni kant 1993 at the gmail.com send it record it successfully one more data is coming that is rajni kant 1993 at the gmail.com okay so this is how you can insert the data into the cloud cloud store okay this is the addition how we are going to add is there let's move to the let's add one more data one two three and uh, here we can add this suraj and mobile number we are going to change two three four five six seven eight nine ten send data added now we are going to make it like a get API to get all the data users. So send it. And here we have all the listing like this, like this, which we have added. One first row is empty. We know that. Okay. So this is the data that we are getting from fetched from this store. Right. And let's do some of the deletion. So we are going to delete with the help of this ID. So let's copy this URL and add it over here okay and make a delete request let's check the routes so here we have the routes that is uh, put for update the users first of all let's do the update so i'm going to add the id first so let's copy this id oh sorry what is the id of anyone so this is the id i'm going to update this test a name okay copy this and paste this over here this is your id and in the this should be the put request right so make it put request go to the body raw and let's make it json okay so let's add it over here all the data that we have in the post request what exactly they have this is the data let's copy this and add it over here in the put request and change my um, what is the exactly the email so if we are using this one so we are going to update only the name so i'm going to send only the name rest of the fields i don't require it so name wanna be like uh, rrr okay i'm going to send it let's see what gonna be updation user record updated successfully check now so i think um, which is that one so you can see that rrr is updated so this is how you can update the record now we are going to delete this record make it delete request delete request currently what we have one to four users are there so i'm going to delete this request delete record deleted data removed now it is three records right so we have successfully implemented the CRUD operations with the help of the api so let's see about the code how we're going to do that right so this is first of all index.js okay see that code after that, we have our user routes where we have added all the routes in the controllers. Okay. So these are all the uh, routes that we have added, right? Module.export, routers, routes, right? Next, we have models. So we have created the name, email, and mobile. 
okay then we have a controllers which have all the logic so here we have enable the fire store data right so here this is the uh, fire store dot collection dot users dot set data it's a function in the fire store so you can add this same for getting all the users like this fire store get collection so you can get the, all the collection of the users and show in the proper way get users this is all the data that you're going to fetch right if you want the particular users data that is also you can fetch right update users we have seen that we have updated with the id okay now we have delete one you should have always seen that so these are all our functions that we have used in the full fledged in the for the fire store cloud operations in the node shares so any issue in that just let me know and uh, th those who forget like uh, to create that fire fire store on the firebase console just let me know in the comment section okay all the code i have shown to you you can write it here and any anywhere you are missing it out just let me know and i will guide you on the same okay so make sure we have the model users and we have the db okay so in the db part we have the initialize the config firebase and in the config we have all the details you can see that we have the port host url api key and everything all the firebase api key all this configuration is coming from your env file so on that note you can can make your config file and pass it all these parameters and uh, get fetch over here and you will your code will be running at the moment right so any query in that let me know in the comment section so this is how we can do the store the data in the fire store so you can do the anything are you gonna play with the fire store like this okay so thank that's all for now uh, we can uh, in the next video let's see what we are going to learn thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please like share and comment to my channel any query let me know about it okay thank you so much have a great day